It's said that absence makes the heart grow fonder. But it's hard to imagine the feelings that fishermen have for striped bass could grow any stronger than they already are. Still, after a long winter without them, the desire to reconnect is all-consuming. No single fish will be as warmly received as the first striper of spring. With larger, more mature striped bass lingering in the southern waters to spawn, it's the schoolies that hit the northeast shores first. We rush the start of spring and spend the first outing searching for signs of life. Eventually, the strengthening sun cannot be denied, as both earth and water soak up its energy, turning it into growth and setting life in motion. Fishing for striped bass might conjure an image of slicker wearing surf casters with 10 foot surf rods keeping 3 ounce plugs. But in early spring, striper fishing requires finesse and deliberate presentations with light lures and sparse flies. Fishermen describe their first stripers of spring as fresh fish. They arrive bright and clean with a silver shine. And then, there's the sight of seven bold black stripes. In yet another spring tradition, we inspect the fish and search for sea lice, parasitic copepods that do little harm to the fish but serve as a sign that the striper has recently arrived from the open ocean. Every schoolie we catch in spring is a gentle reminder of the coming waves of striped bass that will bring bigger, bigger fish with each tide. 18 inch stripers will be unhooked and thrown back without a pause. But for now, everyone is worthy of thought and reflection, photos, celebration, and thanks. <laughs>